beautiful Aquarians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your general love reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful that scammers are currently about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I will never ask you for money. I do not do personal readings um, as my, my schedule just does not allow it. I do not have time, unfortunately. Um, even if I did, I would not ask you for money. Um, I believe that, um, well, someone once said to me, it's not a gift unless you give it away. So that's how I live my life. Also, I do not have WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I do not take donations and I do not do meet and greet or have a personal assistant. So if anyone claiming to be me or, uh, you know, a personal assistant, it is fake. Okay, just so you're aware. Now let's get straight to your general reading. This is a chance for spirit to talk about whatever it is they wish to talk about. Um, I'm doing the dates from mid-May right through to mid-June 2021. We've got karma, we got work, and we got twin flame. They have asked me to go one more, so I will. Thank you so much. We've also got dating, and we've got union. Ooh, so we've got a bit of a spiritual ascension happening here. Um, now, just to let you know, I will be running a free competition for one lucky subscriber to win one free personal reading. Okay, I'll let you know how to win that right at the end of this one, as uh, some people are here for the messages, some people are here for both. Um, so karma, uh, basically the spiritual ascension here, I feel very much like uh, karma has been served, fate has inter intervened in this situation, there's destiny, um, destiny's hand I feel is uh, ushering you along in terms of a twin flame journey. Now they obviously want to talk about twin flame, interesting because my next set of readings are going to be twin flame so I'm coming up to that energy anyway also we're coming up towards a retrograde so when that happens um, strange things happen within a twin flame journey just to let you know but the doors are opening wide here I feel like there's a lot of rebalancing a lot of justice happening here a lot of fairness so I feel like your person uh, if we're dealing with twin flame here I feel like your person is um, receiving some sort of karma here that is opening them up wide open to no longer avoid or deny their feelings. We've also got work. So you may be focusing completely on your work situation right now, Aquarius. Um, it's almost like you may have been thinking about dating. Um, I will pull some cards. If you've given up on the twin flame journey, um, that will come through on the energy as well. Um, so there may be some new love coming on in, but right now they want to focus on the twin flame journey because they're indicating here that no matter how much you've worked on this situation, um, you know, things may not have come to term. They may have always um, sort of, um, it's almost like a spark of something and then it fizzles away. So uh, that could be due to, um, patterns that you and this person are trying to uh, overcome but I feel like you're focusing on your money at this time and it's going to take um, quite a lot of energy for this person to really get your attention this time because I feel like there's almost like a cynicism like a giving up here um, I feel like um, you've lost hope in a situation that you feel it's so stuck that uh, you can't see the way forward but often in a twin flame journey there's a separation period where two people go away to spiritually evolve separately after uh, certain things have been triggered within each other by meeting each other in the first place and then um, you, you do the spiritual ascension you come back into union if you frequent in terms of frequency if you match okay so we do have that twin flame bond um, coming through strongly on this reading um, we've also got dating so I will pull a card on this because I do feel like there is a possibility of new energy coming on in here for you so I'm going to pull a card on that I feel like the stars are aligning for you to meet somebody new if you do not want to be with your twin flame we all we all have free will okay so you get to choose whether you want to be with your twin flame or you decide to leave that in the past but they want to talk about that energy and we've got union so definitely a higher level of commitment um, coming into your um, vicinity I feel like there will be um, there will be um, a relationship with somebody. So let's just clarify that energy. Um, I'm just going to clarify uh, the dating card before we move forward. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? What do they need to know regarding the dating card? We have the Queen of Pentacles. We've got the Eight of Wands. We've got the Three of Wands in the reverse. The Seven of Wands 
in uh, the reverse and we've got the ten of wands interesting energy it's a push and pull kind of energy here uh, that we got going on now we got the queen of pentacles there now even though this is an earth element aquarius and you're an air element there i feel like you're embodying that energy of working on your finances building a solid foundation for yourself you know, making your home your sanctuary and really thinking about nesting or settling down. But I feel like it's from a point of you being comfortable, which is a wonderful energy to be in. So you may be like doing some DIY around your home or you may be thinking about buying a new home. Uh, I feel like you're very centered on, um, you know, saving your finances and building some sort of uh, financial plan. I feel like you're uh, very grounded and determined to make your world a greater place in terms of financial security. Um, also, I feel like you're looking for someone to share that with, okay? Um, I feel um, it's been a bit of a rocky time when it comes to love for you, but I feel like things are going to start blossoming very, very soon. It's almost like this energy, look, she's she's looking at what she's got and what she's got to offer. And Aquarius, male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's about the energy, even though it's a queen there. I feel very much like you've got a lot to offer somebody in terms of settling down, not just in, not in terms of finances. It's not about that. It's about the love that you have to offer. It's very grounded. It's very loyal. You're a dependable uh, energy there when you're in love, of course. Um, and there's an energy here of wanting to um, find someone uh, where it blossoms. Now, they are indicating, they're showing me a snake, okay, right now. And when you get snakes, I know a lot of people are like, oh, snakes are bad. Uh, but actually, snake is basically about rejuvenation. It's about shedding skin and becoming new. Um, so uh, I feel like you may be shedding old patterns or anything that has gone really stale energy. I feel like you're cutting that out in order to move forward. Uh, also, we've got uh, the Eight of Wands here. So you will be getting some sort of news. Um, the Eight of Wands is about communication coming on through. It's about changing change, fast paced change. Okay. There's going to be some action here that comes through for you. Um, now this may be something that really, um, either takes you by surprise or is, um, something that, cause I feel like you're not waiting anymore. Okay. Um, we've got the three of wands in the reverse. This is an energy of, you know, trying not to look too far into the future, trying to live in the present moment, which is a wonderful energy, but I feel like this message comes along and sort of flips things on the switch. Um, flips it, things on its head there. Um, also, we got the seven of wands there in the reverse. So it, that's about boundaries, okay? That's about, you know, you protecting yourself against somebody. I'm just going to show you in the upright there. Perhaps it's about opening up um, and sort of recognizing that um, it's almost like walking away to see if that person is really yours. That's the energy that I'm getting here because it's almost like the burden is you're still carrying it with you. Whatever this is, that's why I'm getting this push and pull energy. It's, it's almost like try and live in the present um, and try and walk away from anything that you're being really guarded about. Um, you feel like the um, it's almost like your plans with this person or this situation, anything that you, if you had planned something in love or, you know, maybe you had an idea of what it would be like to be uh, you at this age and you're thinking well I thought I'd be in a relationship right now or I'd be doing this right now it's about leaving that sort of um, attachment to the outcome behind and just focusing on the now okay because that's all about to change right now we've got some news coming on in here for you so I feel like in terms of dating I feel like you will be meeting somebody new to talk to there will be action in the dating area very difficult, of course. We're all going through a, a pandemic, so it uh, depends on where you are in the world um, and what energy uh, is coming through there for the restrictions. Uh, you could be talking to somebody online and things like that, but I feel like there's action. Stars are aligning for you to come into being with somebody who is interested in you in a romantic sense. Uh, now, let's go uh, a little bit deeper. Um, I feel like that is a new energy as well as your twin flame. I just have to say that. Now, let's uh, see what else they want to talk about. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? What do they need to know? We have stay optimistic about your love life. It says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Uh, they're actually showing me uh, the book, The Secret. Uh, I'm not here to endorse any product or sell anything at all, uh, but I feel like uh, things like Law of Attraction, you may have been um, doing uh, practices like that recently in order to manifest new love, uh, but they're just showing me um, the secret for a reason. Uh, so either this is a book, they've done this before, they've shown it to me, either this is a book that you picked up and you started to read it but you didn't finish it, or it's something that you've been meaning to do and um, they're just drawing my attention to the book. So um, either this book was given to you as a gift or something, or they're indicating that it is a gift. 
and whether that means that the book itself is actually a gift and is going to help you or whether it is someone physically gave it to you as a gift um, I can't tell because they're, they're just trying to show me that it is a gift so um, if that's you um, then there's something in this message for you okay so we have I'll just show you now we got stay optimistic about your love life we've also got engagement so this is about frequencies and it says here your life your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so as we got the twin flame card here it indicates that your person is coming back um, and looking for union that is the energy that I'm getting but we will clarify a little bit further we've got passion this person there's something about this person I mean um, there is an energy be of being sort of off balance a little bit with this person. So maybe this person makes you feel a little bit like butterflies um, or, or a little bit nervous because there's an unpredictability about this person that I've got coming through. Um, and it's almost like on one hand, they represent the ultimate kind of romance. And on the other hand, they represent, um, you know, you also almost like, I feel like you may be bent over backwards uh, to be in this relationship right at the end to try and save it or there was this energy of like um, over giving and then um, it just sort of disintegrated so uh, we will pull cards on that energy we've also got playfulness okay and it says to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine now it's very difficult to Aquarius if you've been separated from somebody that maybe you want to get back into union with it's very difficult to forget the past the trick is we don't forget the past because that's the lesson in itself but we learn to forgive it because when we forgive it we lighten the karmic load and then it's easier to be a little bit more of a playful spirit with that person if we truly want a relationship with that person now um, you know when someone does you wrong it's really hard to be playful with them again because it, you know there's a lot that's gone on but then that's the problem if you really want to unite with that person and be back with that person um, all the baggage needs to be left at the door because it just becomes this weighty kind of relationship that becomes very stressful and nobody wants to get into that because if that's how it is now imagine three months from now imagine ten months from now imagine five years from now it's going to be a big old weight around your neck okay so I don't know why they're giving that to me they're just giving it to me so I have to give you what they're giving me let's get straight to your oh no they just said no 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 um, okay um, Let's get straight to your overall energy for the time period I've set. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? Thank you so much. Uh, we've got the High Priestess. We've got the Moon. Yeah, so uh, it, there's a lot of fear here with regards to this relationship. We got a Tower. Whoa, yeah. So look, we got we got surprise commitment coming on in here. This person is going to really surprise you. Uh, we got the tower. Now the tower does not always mean some sort of a crazy surprise that's going to bring your whole world to your knees. Okay, um, this is um, basically just means surprise. Something you had not expected coming on in here to shake up the energy. And in the unified position, you've got the hierophant and you've got the tower. So there's definitely some sort of shake up in terms of energy that leads to a higher level of commitment, okay? Um, and I feel like this person is coming to reveal how they feel, okay? They're really opening up this time. That's the energy that I'm getting. Now, the protagonist energy is the high priestess. This is Virgo energy. We've got Cancerian energy. We've got Aries, Scorpio. We've also got some Taurus. So they may have placements in those chart, in your chart, or they, they may have placements in their chart, or you do in your chart for the for some of those energies but this is about um this is about something come came to the surface or uh, something was being repressed or miss there's a mistrust here and i feel very much like you're trying to use your intuition to really see what's what and sometimes you may feel a little bit blocked aquarius and think well how am i supposed to know which is the right way there's no right or wrong way that's what life is there's no, there's only decisions okay and it depends on what your gut instinct is telling you in this moment you can look back on many things and say you know what I wish I never did that. I wish I never met that person. But in that moment, way back in the past, that's exactly what you wanted because you chose it, okay? So we have to honor our own choices in that moment. We can all look back in hindsight, of course, but if in that moment your intuition was giving you red flags and saying, no, 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 don't be doing that, you know this is gonna end up like a car crash, then, you know, and you proceeded anyway, then, you know, you missed an opportunity. We all do it, you know, we all have those moments of going, damn it, I just, I did saw, I saw the signs, I knew it but I still like a moth to a flame, I went straight for it. You know, we all have that. 
but there's an energy here of you trying to really check in with your intuition this time because I feel there is fear here okay with this uh, I feel like there is some sort of reconciliation coming with this person's coming on in here too um, I feel like the message that they're actually going to say to you Aquarius is something on the lines of um, it feels like a flippant joke it's almost like um, I've been thinking a lot about you and me kind of living uh, in the countryside or something like it, living um, together yeah by the sea or something like that it feels very much like a uh, really cheeky and you may not have heard from this person in months or even years okay I just feel like this uh, message is gonna come left field from twin flame okay um, and I feel like you're really gonna be trying to check in with your intuition now in the antagonist position uh, this is the moon card so this person tends to give confusion and it makes you feel unhappy when you just you, you you give them another chance and then they do the same thing so I feel of course there's an energy here of mistrust and fear the moon is about illusion shedding those illusions and seeing what is truly there okay um, now I feel like there's going to be a, a, an energy of the subconscious you know the subconscious mind so you may have things like dreams that are quite prophetic um, I know that as um, you know uh, we approach that um, we just come out of a, a super moon in Scorpio there uh, so it was very very um, har hard in terms of energy because it, it made a lot of people face emotions that they were avoiding and now we're about to hit, hit a retrograde there's an energy here of um, almost like uh, how you, twin flames kind of being activated to come back to to rehash the things that they wish they had said that's the energy anything that they were avoiding before it's all coming out in the wash right now uh, so I feel like this person um, they've been looking at because they're really highlighting this dog and this wolf here so that's representative of you know to be tamed and you know settle down in a home environment or to run wild and free okay and it's about checking in with those emotions and I feel like this person is going to visit your dreams if they haven't been already um, because I feel like the energy is kind of of the now okay uh, now in the uh, unified position here we have the tower okay so this is an energy of um, upheaval change and awakening when you get a tower moment it basically means fate will be intervening in this situation karma uh, will be blowing the whole thing wide open and uh, something needs to be um, shifted there something will be taken away in order for something greater to take its place so whether that is um, as I said an epiphany uh, an old way of thinking being taken away and you both opening up to this um, you'll be changed forever by this energy as you can see the tower is struck by lightning lightning represents the universe you know fate um, sort of intervening uh, it sets the building on fire now the tower is a prison kind of energy which is keeping you stuck okay uh, if you felt like it was stalemate between you and your twin flame and nothing was happening there there's an indication that uh, that, that building on fire makes things feel so uncomfortable and then we've got you know we had that Scorpio supermoon there things become so uncomfortable that uh, action needs to be taken okay you got to come off that fence it's almost like being nudged right off that fence and as you can see those two butterflies they exit the building because if they were staying in that building in that stuck energy uh, it's over okay so something needs to change they're taking a bit of a leap of faith so uh, it looks like you're gonna get some sort of surprise message or communication from your twin flame um, the Hierophant represents high-level commitment uh, this is the marriage card really uh, but this is also about tradition okay um, and almost like it's like that learning but also settling down into a more established practice or a more sort of conventional uh, relationship there so I feel like um, there is a relationship on the board for you because we got a high we got a hierophant there and we got a union card so they're definitely indicating that there is a relationship coming on in you get to choose whether it's with your twin flame or not okay uh, we all have free will and everyone is very different our circumstances are different uh, but you're going to hear from this person this twin flame it will it will surprise you okay uh, let's get to your Celtic cross thank you so much spirit guys going angels can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians what do they need to know um, regarding uh, their twin flame journey uh, or the present moment uh, what is their feelings in this present moment how would you like to receive okay they want me to just turn it around here okay uh, four of air okay so the four of air is a solitary energy it's a healing energy as well it's about you know you've done you, you've done the grieving you've done the loss you've done the heartbreak and sometimes you know you do look back and think um, it's 
incredibly sad. Sorry, they're just giving me a name. Uh, Gabrielle. Gabrielle. Okay, um, so if that's your name, there's something in this message for you. It could be the, the person that you were dating um, or your, your twin flame there. Uh, please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. Uh, they're saying it very much Gabrielle rather than Gabriel, uh, just so you're aware. Um, um, yeah, if it does not resonate for you, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just means that they want that person to pay close attention to the reading as there's something in this message for them, okay? But the Four of Air is a rejuvenation kind of energy, recovering from something and being in a solitary energy, really taking some time out to think, um, but healing, okay? You're on the next step from healing. So you may have felt like, you know, you're nearly recovered from this relationship. You really, do, from this twin flame separation. So um, you've taken steps to really feel like uh, it's almost like you're, you feel like if you've done the restlessness you've done the anxiety you're burnt out with the energy and you're like i'm ready to move forward without this person because there's no other choice okay just when you're about to walk away from a twin flame journey you actually um tug on the energetic cord and it activates your twin so that's what happens they become the chaser and you become the runner for a short term uh, i feel but um th that's why we've got anxiety we've got uncertainty with that moon card right in the center what is the challenge the challenge is the eight of earth learning learning the lesson okay um you know eight of earth is about mastering oneself as well you know investing in oneself so you may have gone away and done all that uh, spiritual healing and ascension there but the person you're dealing with may have not uh, this is an energy here of wanting to repair this but also um, this person's lack of focus or lack of ambition to actually invest solidly in your your relationship so i feel like the potential is there for you and this person to learn the lessons together in harmony and to come together and uh, repair this but you're not so sure so you may be wondering should i even open myself up to repairing this twin flame or should i just move on now there was a lot of passion i'm feeling like they're, they're showing me this like um it's almost like how can i put it I don't know what it's called, but it's almost like there's two balls here and there's like an electric kind of thing that goes bzz, bzz, in the center. I don't know what that is. It's almost like it's so magnetic. It's electric, but it's also has the potential to be painful. So um, it's this push and pull kind of energy that I'm getting. OK, so I feel like that's how you're feeling about this person. Now, what is below my beautiful Aquarians? What do they need to know? Can you please? Thank you so much. Ace of Fire. You're looking for new passion or you want to ignite some passion here. Uh, the thing that is carrying you through is you're hoping the universe brings you a uh, new passion there or brings you an urge to uh, sort of meet somebody new because I feel like there was a, a loss of hope here, maybe feeling a little bit cynical that love is not going to um, adorn your door. Maybe you feel, because I just got this energy and this is not going to be for everybody, but it's almost like I see someone counting um, and I feel like this is um, misinformation that you have maybe read. Um, something about there's, okay, now don't shoot the messenger when I say this. It's almost like someone has read on the, on the internet that you only get so many chances at true love or something. It's almost like uh, you own, uh, an average a person meets an average of uh, or falls in love an average of three or four times or something like that. I'm not sure what this is um, that I'm picking up on. And it's almost like you resign yourself to going, oh, well, I've that's probably me done then. Uh, that's not the truth. OK, there's definitely new coming on in here for you. It's not over for you in terms of passion and love. So please don't be worried about that. Uh, the Internet is full of crazy things. OK, so uh, use your intuition. You know, that's not the truth. If you really dig deep. OK, you've got a lot to offer, my beautiful Aquarians. You've got so much spark in you. You've got a lot of love. You're so fun, adventurous. You're off the wall, wacky. I love your energy. Um, you know, you've got a lot of ideas. Conversation is awesome. So you've got so much to offer. Okay, and I'm not blowing smoke up your you-know-what, but sometimes we forget. We forget to say how much we admire people, you know, and I'm not, I'm not one of those people. I'm happy to say, hey, I admire all your traits, some of the traits that I don't have, you know. So um, sometimes I like to mention it occasionally. Uh, but the Ace of Fire indicates um, deep down in your underlying feelings here, uh, deep, deep down, you know that there is new passion coming on in. Now, whether that is... Um, this twin flame wanting to start something new. We will clarify this energy, but there's definitely a spark of something new coming. Uh, thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? What do they need to know about the past? 
What's been going on there? Thank you so much. Uh, the second time they've given this to me, uh, the name Gary. Gary. So if your name is Gary, there's something in this message for you, or perhaps a person you were dealing with is called Gary. It's not going to resonate for everyone, of course, uh, so please take it as it resonates. Um, if it's not the name that connects to you, doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just means they want that person to pay close attention to the reading, okay? In the recent past, we got the nine of water. So you may have felt like when you met this person that your dreams would come true. As I said right at the beginning of the reading, because I'm channeling, I'm giving you what they're giving me, which is in that moment, you felt like you had everything you wished for. You'd met someone that you thought was just awesome. You knew that this person was your twin flame. This person knew that you were their twin flame also, um, but you may have felt like you got your wishes and then, you know, it all sort of fell to naught. So I'm just gonna clarify this energy and see what's going on there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. First of all, can you clarify uh, this Nine of Water? Oof. Okay, so we have a Page of Cups in the reverse. We've got the Five of uh, Swords in the upright. We've got the Ace of Cups in the reverse. We've got the, t yeah, they're showing me the separation, okay? And we got the Eight of uh, Pentacles there. So the Page of Cups in the reverse partnered with the Ace of Cups. I mean, you've got the two major love cards here. Um, this is Disappointment. Okay, disappointment in what got delivered from the universe. So you may have felt like this was the person, the twin flame, this is the one. There's something different about this person and we always know when we've met twin flame. Um, there's a disappointment here. You got let down by this person, the separation. Now you may feel like this person is disinterested in you, especially since we have the page of cups. It's almost like withdrawing um, their cup of love, being a, a messy breakup there. Uh, this person being very immature about the whole thing. And there's a lot of sabotage that's gone on there. Perhaps even mind games, okay? We've got that five of swords there. Now, if someone was um, physically or mentally abusive towards you, Aquarius, that is not twin flame. Okay, I just want, um, but you know, when it, we're all human, we all argue, we all say things that we don't mean, but if it's a continuous chipping away at your mindset or your confidence and things like that, that's what I'm talking, that's not twin flame, okay? Um, as I said, we, we all uh, are in relationships, we're no angels, okay? We're not angels all the time. There's moments where people peeve us off and we just lash out, you know, as long as we don't get physical, you know, or, you know, we say things sometimes we don't mean, but I'm just feeling like this person, it's almost like this person pay, played some mind games towards the end of this, uh, in order to push you away, Aquarius. Um, we got the 10 of pentacles there in the reverse, indicating separation here, may have been divor divorce or, um, um, there may have even been, um, and when I say this by third party interference, I don't mean by them cheating because I'm not picking up that energy. I'm getting, uh, there could have been interference by family members or uh, friends there, making problems, making trouble there, uh, very, very sort of a lot of conflict, okay, uh, within this. So you may have ended up feeling quite lonely after this. Uh, it's, it's almost like everything you wish for and then it just fell apart. That's the energy that I'm getting. And we've got the eight of pentacles again. This is the, you know, you're wondering, can you repair this? Uh, and it, we got the eight of earth. Okay. So this is the challenge. Can this be repaired after everything that's gone down? Can it be repaired? Um, so I just wanted to clarify that energy. Now I'm just going to quickly, oh no, they want me to leave that there. Oh no. Leave it, leave it there. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, they just said go. So um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. What can you tell me? Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. I was, what are you going to tell me about the Ace of Fire? So there's definitely a new relationship coming on in here for you. Um, uh, no, I want to clarify again, they said. Okay. Uh, so there's definitely new coming on in. I mean, two aces in what is below you. Uh, in terms of your intuition, you do know, if you really dig deep, you know that you are worth a beautiful relationship, Aquarius, you have so much to offer, and that is what you're about to get. Uh, there's passion, there is deep investment here, and it is a, an energy here of someone wanting to uh, be in a relationship with you that goes the distance. And again, two aces indicate a surprise. The universe comes on in, that hand of fate, after a tumultuous time, look at that cloud, it's all billowy and you know crazy. That energy is sort of really um, feeling quite dark there. Out comes the light with that pinnacle. It's a solid offer of union. Um, now, I just wanna clarify this energy if it's new or uh, if it's twin flame. Can you please clarify these two aces? Are they two people coming on in to offer uh, love there or is it uh, the twin flame or the person you walked away from, the Eight of Cups. 
okay? Eight of Cups in the reverse. Um, either you walked away from them or they walked away from you because there wasn't any emotional contentment in this relationship, okay? Um, there was uh, no in emotional security. Uh, you may have felt like it became quite empty, okay, in the end, even though deep down there's still a spark of something. So uh, it feels very much like Twin Flame is coming back towards you to offer a solid investment. Anything in terms of new for my beautiful Aquarians? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see for new? Thank you so much. Okay, they just want to uh, they want to focus on the twin flame for now because we have the seven of swords in the reverse. So this indicates someone from your past returning to make amends, okay? This person wants to talk. They don't want to run away anymore. That's the energy that I'm getting here. So uh, even please look up the meanings of the cards. Um, you know, I, I always say make sure you look up the meanings of the cards. It's readily available online, I think. Um, just so you know um, what I'm talking about or what other tarot readers are talking about. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? What is in the above position? What is the potential here? Thank you so much. Uh, we got the Seven of Fire. Now, the Seven of Fire, it, it means two different things, okay? In the traditional Rider Waite Tarot, the Seven of Fire is the Seven of Wands, which is an energy of being guarded, protecting yourself against something or somebody. Uh, and because maybe you do not trust this Twin Flame journey, um, I mean, it takes, a, it takes time to, it, it takes, you know, a lifetime to build trust and a second to break it. So I feel like it's going to take time for you to really open yourself up to this. But in this particular deck, which is the Good Tarot by Colette Baron Reed, you only read the uprights in this deck. This card is about being your personal best. This is about going the distance. It is about perseverance and not conforming, okay? If you want to be in a relationship with your twin flame, you're unstoppable. Uh, you and your, your twin flame and your passion that is between you, nothing will get in the way. The obstacles will be overcome eventually, and I feel very much like you will engage in a unified effort to be together, okay? Um, queen of Water. Now, the Queen of Water is the Queen of Love, basically. Male or female, again, not a gender-specific reading. It's about the energy. This is about self-love, though. It's about self-care. It's also about that nurturing energy, uh, healing, supportive energy. But it is about compassion for self, emotional security. So, um, you know, having confidence in your wonderful self, Aquarius, that you are the best of the best and you have the best to offer a lot of people, I mean, society has kind of told us we search for the one, which often indicates that we're searching for something that we don't have. And when we're looking for something we don't have, it means we are lacking something. So um, you're actually um, looking for love in a state of lack already because people forget, you know, even that thing where, you know, we're looking for our other half. Well, that implies that half of us is missing. And I know that's a wonderful sort of, um, I feel it's, um, I think it's Socrates uh, said, you know, about um, looking for your other half. And of course, his, his brain and his mind is like way more intelligent than my little one. Um, but I personally, this is my personal view, is that um, we are whole all by ourselves, okay? We make ourselves happy and, uh, you know, there's nothing missing. Uh, we got to own our own energy and we come into being with someone who is equally whole and we make a, a perfect union, okay, rather than feeling like we are half ourselves and we need, uh, the, because then we start to need. And when we haven't got what we need, it's, it, it, there's a suggestion there that we cannot function. So I, I just don't like that energy. That's just my personal opinion. We all have different opinions. That is what makes us all so wonderful as humans. Um, and we... There's an energy here, though, of having confidence in yourself, knowing that you are the best of the best, okay? So recognize that energy. Now, they want me to go again in that position, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. Oh, straight away, we've got Two of Earth. Now, the Two of Earth is also an energy of making sure you make time for love. The Two of Earth indicates you will have a choice when it comes to love as well. You're going to be weighing up some options here um, as to whether you want to be with your twin flame or whether you want new. That is your call. But if you're working super hard and you're not allowing yourself any time to even think about love, Aquarius, then there will not be any love because you've invested your time, your energy into one source, um, which is uh, to be on that um, financial gravy train, okay? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? What do they need to know? Uh, they're just showing me someone um, washing their windows. Washing the windows. So if that's you as you're listening to this reading and you're washing the windows, then there's something in this message for you. Again, it's not going to resonate for everyone, of course. Um, 
So please take it as it resonates, but also, I mean, spiritually windows, um, they're also representative of, of like windows of the, well, I feel like eyes are the windows of the soul, uh, but windows are often like, oh my gosh, what are they giving me? They're giving me a song. One second. I'm just wondering how they're, they're connecting this. Uh, so they're just showing me, they're, they're playing me a song and I do not know what the song is, but they're showing me the artist who sings the song and I do know who that is, and that is Eminem. Wow, they're giving me an Eminem. And it's something about window pane. Window pane. I don't know, window pane. Does that mean it's the window pane at the window or is it pain that you see through the window or is it is it you standing at the window feeling pain. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look up the, the song. I really can't tell you what it is. I'm so sorry. I mean, I love all sorts of music and everything, and I do love some of his work, but to, to give me a line from a song, I'm not sure what that would be. So I do apologize. Um, let's see what's going on here. Uh, near future. Beautiful. So near future position, justice. This is your karma card. Okay. This is um, an energy of weighing up your options. Uh, but finding a solution, the Justice card is about finding solutions, a fair solution for all, coming together in truth and equality and balance, okay? Also, it indicates that whatever you decide in this moment, you will change your future. Um, you know, as I said, we've all got free will. Uh, some things are predestined, but, uh, you know, you, it's almost like you could have a path from A to Z, and, you know, you, you're focused on getting to Z. But, you know, depending on your choices, it may mean that you get to Z by traveling to B, C. You may skip EDF and go straight to, you know, whatever. So you get my point, okay? So I feel very much like depending on your choices, um, whether you want new or your twin flame, uh, that is up to you. Uh, but there's definitely a conversation coming here for you, Aquarius, one that is honest, open. And if you've got any disputes or you feel like there's been a lack of accountability in a situation or you're dealing with someone who was quite unfair or even dishonest, this is about leveling it out finding that truth and it being a bit of a win-win situation for you uh, to find that solution. Um, and the solution is the relationship that you truly deserve and desire arrives. This is high level commitment here. This is the two of cups, two of water energy. This is a partnership that is deeply romantic. It is someone who's coming into your world, um, a divine union that is being sent to you. There is love and so much of it. Also, I feel like you and this person are going to be on the same page, whether it is twin flame or not. I just got this energy that you're going to be in a high level commitment depending on what you choose. This relationship will go um, the distance. It will lead to a higher level of commitment like marriage or you know union, whatever that union looks like for you because everyone is different. Um, but there's definitely an energy of a, a relationship blossoming here and a partnership that is so balanced um, and harmonious and just a beautiful kind of energy here. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guard Angels. What is the advice Aquarius is giving to themselves? Ten of Earth, focus on the money. So we got that Ten of Earth energy. But also, Ten of Earth can be also applied when it's to, to, to do with love. It can be applied to a committed love. You want someone who's going to invest all in the big ten or nothing at all, okay? Um, I feel very much like um, it's almost like you're looking for, you don't want to be a lone wolf anymore. You're looking for your partner in crime. You're looking for that person to settle down with, to run with through life. Uh, through all of those ups and downs and I feel like um, you're focused on your money heavily until such time as you feel like you've either connected to that person which is your twin flame or to somebody new uh, but you're I feel like you're really starting to recognize that you deserve the big 10 okay um, and I mean we all come into this world some of us come in a little bit more sp spiritually evolved than others some people you know they know what they deserve they deserve straight off okay um, sometimes uh, some of us are born with insecurities and things like that and we have trauma to work through which comes from um, you know uh, ancestral wounding and things like that so thank you so much spirit guys great angels what is the external environment what is the external environment for my beautiful Aquarians? We have the page of earth. The external environment is perfect for communication, news from somebody who wants to invest in a solid relationship with you. As you can see, the page of earth is, um, the page of earth is pages they bring news, okay, communication. And as you can see, there's been a bit of a rocky time, but they're starting to see some growth here. Uh, this page, they don't have much to offer, but what they do offer, they give everything. Also, pages are quite curious. They're very patient. They're very reliable. Um, and I feel very much like 
it's the start of something, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna clarify some of that energy here for you. Uh, but also you may be looking for, uh, for example, you may be looking for a job or a raise, a promotion, and being really sort of invested in your career at this moment in time. So you may feel like um, you haven't been able to really focus on love too much, but I feel like that may change. Uh, we got the emperor in the reverse, okay? So they're indicating here that twin flame, the immature energy um, that uh, you are dealing with uh, is showing up to communicate with you, okay? So that's the energy uh, that I've got there. Thank you so much. Yeah, this person wants to talk. Yeah, they're, they're in love with you, okay? Uh, the, time, the time has come. That's the energy they're, they're giving me. Uh, the two of voices, as you can see, um, is uh, uncertainty, but there is a, com a communication. Uh, when the two voices is there, of course, in this deck, it's pretty obvious, two voices coming together to talk, find a solution, and find a path that leads to the same thing. As you can see, every person's got their own path. And you can see that walking towards that, there's, an, there's a passion there, a spiritual union. And um, you can see two people, maybe even conflicted, uh, you know, it's a push and pull kind of energy, but two people have to make that decision to walk that journey together through the same door. Um, so I feel like you and this person will be talking about it. And we got the lover's card in the upright. Now this person knows that you're their twin flame. You know that they're your twin flame. Uh, there's an energy here of choice though, okay? Because the lover's card often is used to be called the choice. So you get to decide whether you want to wait for new or whether you want your your um, your divine masculine or your divine feminine there counterpart. Um, there's an energy here of peace. Definitely an energy of uh, union, partnership, deep love uh, that stems across all timelines, okay? So definitely that union coming together there. Uh, things are starting to blossom. So again, they're giving the same energy uh, that we've got throughout each deck. I mean, each deck is telling you the same thing. Now, what is the um, hope and fear of my beautiful Aquarians? We've got the Sun card and we got the Ten of Water. Wow! Aquarius, I mean, I am rarely lost for words, but you got two of the best cards in the deck, okay? So your hope is to have a happy union, um, settle down, you know, the ten of uh, water there is uh, ultimate happiness, abundance, material abundance, as well as good health, uh, emotional contentment, your wishes coming true, it's all of those things. It's settling down energy, uh, there being a time for blossoming and being enough. And the sun card is the same, relationships blossoming, joy, positivity, optimism. There's only a slight energy here of, um, you know, a little bit of fear that there may be some sort of, um, now, again, don't shoot the messenger. I feel like there's either family members or friends who do not like this twin flame um, person. Um, and I feel like there will be a little bit of conflict there. So I just get this energy that maybe you're a little bit worried about how people will take it after all the drama that's gone on between you and this person, how they would take this. Um, but also there's a little bit of ego there. You may feel like this person, um, how can I put that? Sometimes tends to be a little bit selfish, okay? And there may have been a bit of a, a rocky time when you uh, separated there and you may be wondering how do you transcend that energy uh, now what is the outcome i mean i'd want that to be my outcome that's pretty amazing thank you so much spirit guides great angels what is the beautiful outcome or the not so beautiful outcome let's see what's happening there uh, i'm not going to uh, call the energy until it comes out i do feel like it is a very uh positive energy though thank you so much spirit guides great angels can you please guide thank you so much we got the eight of air and we got the Ten of Fire, okay? So this is an energy of seeing things as they truly are. Eight of Air is uh, often a, how can I put this? A self-imposed restriction. It is anxiety, overthinking, analysis, paralysis. Now this is um, basically, uh, it keeps people stuck. It keeps, it prevents people from having a communication, saying what they truly want to say. Uh, paired with that Ten of Fire, it indicates, you know, um, you're thinking about, walking away completely from this union, or you have already. Uh, the Ten of Fire indicates you're done and done. Um, you want a new start. You're finally taking a break and saying no to this uh, energy here because you feel like um, you're seeing things as they truly are. You've got clarity, okay? It's almost like 
that sparkliness of the union has now become quite dull because you're becoming, you've come into a pattern there with this person. So I feel like there's a lot of tension and that's why you may find it difficult to, um, to choose which direction to go in. Uh, they've asked me to go two more, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Good Angels. Three of Water and Transformation. Okay, so we got the Death card. Endings bringing new beginnings. Now, you get to choose, as I said, Aquarius, especially since we got that lover's card coming out. We got the two of earth of you, the potential um, for you to meet somebody new, but also to connect with your twin flame, depending on what you want. But the transformation card indicates um, change, okay? Some sort of restructure of the energy. That which is old and familiar, whether, whether it is a pattern or an old way of doing things, is being shed. Like uh, I said at the beginning of this reading, I think uh, I, I saw a snake. Um, and it's shedding skin. So definitely that scorpionic energy there. Um, it's to make way for something greater, more healthy. Uh, so whether that is a new beginning in the relationship with your twin flame for something that's more healthy, something that you can celebrate because we've got the three of water right there, um, that is up to you. But if you're wanting new, uh, you can meet new love as well um, because that transformation could also be about you letting go of the twin flame journey. And uh, although they come back to talk for union and try to make amends with you, uh, you could decide to just move on without them. That's your call, okay? Um, but the transformation card indicates, uh, you know, getting rid of any stagnant energy. Um, and I feel like you've lost a bit of the obsession that you may have uh, had for this person. Um, I feel like this person's still pretty obsessed with you, though. That's the energy that I'm getting. And the three of water... Um, the three of water is a celebration, but it's also about a circle of support. So I do feel like no matter what you choose for yourself, Aquarius, even if your friends or family were against this person or against this union, they're just being very protective of you. They love you so much. They don't want to see you hurt. And I feel like, um, that they would support you no matter what. Okay. They just want what is right for you. And I feel like they will be there for you no matter what. Uh, so um, I feel like there's a lot of celebration coming for you. Now I'm going to pull a few more cards quickly before I close this reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarius? Anything further before we close the reading? Thank you so much. And one more. Thank you. Okay. We've got the Three of Voices. We've got the Four of Inspiration. We've got the Ace of Voices. And how would you like to receive? Thank you so much. We've got the Muse of Materials. Okay, so where do we start? These cards came out first, and then we'll go to these, okay? So we got the Muse of Materials. Now that is the king of um, pentacles, okay? So um, it's male or female, it's not a gender-specific reading. Um, it's about the energy. So th th this is the Muse instead of the king. But this is about solid commitment coming on in here. Someone who is going to invest in a, a relationship with you um, and go the distance. Someone who is kind, um, reliable, dependable, very passionate as well, got a great lot of ideas. This person, um, I feel like even though this is kind of, um, can you see it's like one of those bridges that um, sort of move quite a bit. I, it's like a, I don't know what they call it, um, but I feel like you're stable on this path no matter what. I don't feel like this is going to be a rocky time for you. I feel like this person wants to be all in. Now, in this particular deck, as you can see, there's like a mirror image here. So there's an indication here that there is twin flame mirroring going on. This is a very solid energy to be in with that. Uh, also, they're indicating, because um, I feel like your twin flame is coming on in to offer something solid this time. Um, and we've also got the Ace of Voices, which indicates you will be talking to somebody new. Okay. Um, and there's an energy here of um, trying to work things out. I feel like you will be connecting to someone in terms of a meeting of minds. The real spark of passion may not be there like in the twin flame journey, but it doesn't mean it's any lesser of a relationship. I do feel like the new person who's coming on in uh, is very adventurous. They could also be an Aquarius like you or could have a Gemini and Libra in their chart. Uh, they could also have some Leo, Sag and Aries in there as well. A little bit of Scorpio. Um, but I feel like this person, um, they're quite a vibrant character. Um, and I feel like you're intrigued by this new person. There are a lot of, I feel like this person may be a little bit older than you. A lot of wisdom with this person. They're very knowledgeable. Um, now, they're just showing me a panda. There's no panda in this. 
Now, there's no pandas in the cards. They're just showing me a panda. So, um, I feel like they did this a couple of months ago or maybe a couple of weeks ago. I'm channeling all the time, so I can't keep up with all the images that come. But uh, I feel like panda is quite unique, right? Um, there's not many of them in the world. Uh, you know, they're very specialized creatures. They don't mate with every person they get with, you know, every panda that comes their way. Uh, they're very... Um, discerning about who they let into their world kind of energy um i feel like that's the sort of person you're about to meet uh, i feel like this person would mirror you in that respect uh you know you don't let everybody in um so i feel like this new person it is someone of interest uh but i feel like the twin flame energy is going to shock you first before you decide we've also got the four of inspiration that is the halfway to marriage card, okay? So there is definitely union happening here on the cards. We've also got a three of voices. Now I'm going to pull a card on this. The three of voices is a card of loss, okay? It's about, you know, almost like shutting the door on one thing in order to open a door on another. As you can see, there's sadness here, but it's almost like you're surrendering, you're opening it up. Uh, so I'm going to pull a card on this because it does require, if you've got two options there, it does require you walking away from one. So whether that is your twin flame, let's see, yeah. Whether that's your twin flame or whether that's uh, on new, I feel like, how would you like to see? Thank you so much. We got the six of cups there. That's the reunion card, okay? So you may be deciding to walk away from the person who returns to you, Aquarius. This is um, you walking away. Uh, this person wants to, uh, I, feel like it, I feel like it's because of what's happened in the past, the pain is 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 too much or there is a how can i put that um mistrust here i'm gonna go one more oh no that's not it sorry my hand just uh all of a sudden cramped up slightly thank you so much spirit guides for angels can you please guide my beautiful aquarians thank you so much i would like to see you thank you yeah you don't trust this okay you don't trust this you don't uh, what i'm getting is that this person uh they either ran away from your connection ghosted you or um you know they, they were uh, not honest with you um and they you may have felt like they betrayed your trust the hermit in reverse indicates you don't want to make the same mistakes and uh, you don't re repeat the past with this person so that's the energy that i'm getting so you may actually walk away from your twin flame if if that's how you're feeling not everybody's going to feel that way but it does require you to uh weigh up your options there so um i feel like your twin flame is coming in in a um higher frequency they want to settle down uh but you do have an option of talking to somebody new should you not wish to uh, be with that person but i have to go on the energy that they really want to talk about which is the twin flame journey so that's why i'll be doing a new love reading in the next couple of days uh after the twin flames so uh just to let you know um if you're not looking for your twin flame journey um the, rela ooh, the relationship from the past uh, sorry the new relationship will be talked about in the new love reading we've got surrender we've also got intuition so yeah Surrender to your intuition. It will never lead you astray, okay? Um, so this person, your twin flame, is about to reveal that they've changed. I feel like they have changed. Uh, they've done a lot of work on themselves. Um, but maybe it's too late. Let's see. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. We got the here and now. It's in the reverse, okay? I'm just going to show you. It's interesting you got this card. I'm just going to show you in the upright. We've got past. We've got future. And we've got an egg there. This person's sitting with a flag saying, you are here. It's the here and now. So sitting on perhaps thinking about something new. The egg represents something new. And we got a window there. Okay, so something about windows and souls or something like that or pain. Uh, we'll look up the meaning of that card. Uh, sorry, that song uh, when I finish this reading. Um, but you got it in the reverse. So I'm just going to read... Um, I'm just going to read from the book because I don't want to tell you anything wrong. But it's interesting you got that card because it's interest It's saying, you know, do you go with the person from the past or do you go for someone in the future? You get to decide. Uh, so let's have a look. 32. Being fully present in the moment. Now you get the protection message first. It says, whenever you find your mind drifting into the past, wondering if things could have or should have been better, or whether you find yourself longing for the good old days, you leak your power. The same... The same is true if you're looking too far ahead and hoping the future will provide you with certainty. Driven by ambition, you might wander too long in a place with no substance and forget that you are here today. The past and the future are illusions. Whenever you leave the moment, 
uh, of the present. You're disconnecting from your inherent power to manifest your reality with true substance. Neither past nor future can give you what you need. Now is all that counts. Come back from those eternities and be here now. All will be well and miracles will appear as if by magic in the perfect timing of spirit. Okay, that really does connect actually to the eight of um, pentacles because the challenge is about investing in self in this moment. Um, now I'm going to read you the relationship message as well. Just because, uh, you know, this is a love reading. It says, it is easy. I'll turn it on the upright for you to at least watch something that you can see with clarity. Um, it is easy to yearn for a love affair or friendship you may not have right now. One that is more romantic, more fun, more reliable, more passionate. The good old days are gone and a new day has dawned. Let your heart trust that you have everything you need right now, whether you have the relationship you desire or not. Tomorrow is beyond your reach. Yesterday cannot return. The now is all that is available to you. Stay present and aware that in this moment, as you cherish and approve of your beautiful self, you are a magnet for love. Spirit is madly in love with you right now. Did you know that? Turn to spirit to feel the joy of love in the here and now. Notice they said you are a magnet for love. You're not looking for love. You're a magnet for love. So that's what they were kind of giving me at the beginning. You know, you magnetize love towards you because you recognize that you are whole and you are ready for love. You're drawing it towards you. So I'm just going to give you a trinket before we close. Thank you so much, spirit guys. So angel. Thank you so much. Oh, we've got one key. Okay, so we've got the key. And the key uh, has a round circle on it. Now, I often connect this, um, this key to the world card, which is about... Um, coming full circle. It's about completion of a lesson, satisfaction that it's time to move forward. Um, all your efforts, um, you have a deeper understanding of your role within this union, but you've reached a final destination of your journey and now it's time to decide which direction you take, okay? The world card is an energy of um, achieving a goal. They just gave me achieving a goal. So uh, whether that goal is to be with your twin flame or whether it is to manifest someone new, that is your call. What they have uh, indicated here is that you've come as far as you can within a certain situation. It's time for you to recognize that and move forward with that truth, okay? Again, we all have free will. Where would you like this? Where would you like this? They want it on the two of water. They want it on the two of water. So you're about to come full circle and um, be in a committed, highly committed relationship there. Okay, my beautiful Aquarians, I will leave that there. I hope something resonated in this reading for you. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. That lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know resonate that it, let, it lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Also, if you'd like to be in with a chance to win a free personal reading, free to enter, free to win, free to receive, all you have to do is Put the word love in the comments box below and I will gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 25th of May and choose that person. Thank you so much, my beautiful Aquarians. Love and light.